For people coming through a worldwide pandemic, there was a realization that many aspects of life had been taken away. In some ways, many of us were held hostage by the coronavirus. Businesses, churches, social events all shut down. Masks were required. Travel was impeded. And there was, of course, that shortage of toilet paper. But this wasn't necessarily an overreaction. The coronavirus has taken nearly 1.2 million lives in this country alone. All of us wanted a cure and wanted our lives back. Living in this broken and sinful world means that all of us face a loss of life. The reality of death and grief in our world has led many to suggest that we should just adopt a, oh, well, that's how it goes kind of attitude. Someone wrote, never take life seriously. Nobody gets out alive anyway. Shakespeare wrote, life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. But on Easter, we encounter something completely different. Easter redefines life as we have come to know it. Easter is a game changer to the hardships and to every single thing that Satan has stolen and taken away from us. Easter is where you get your life back from death. And if you want to get your life back, you got to stop looking in cemeteries. God asked us again through his angelic messengers that first Easter, why do you look for the living among the dead? Great question. Yet how often do you find yourself digging around in the dirt of this world, hoping to discover life? The power of Easter isn't found in a version of positive thinking or in a try a little harder and you can make the best of it kind of attitude. The power of Easter is found in this one single truth. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. The resurrection of Jesus is where death finds defeat and life finds victory. Placing your faith in Jesus' resurrection is the only place where you can get your life back from death. So believe life is about Jesus, receive life from Jesus, and live life in Jesus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we give you great thanks and praise, and we celebrate your victory over death and the grave. You conquered our sins there at the cross and have given to us freedom and new life. And so we thank you for the freedom and we pray that you would help us to stop digging around in the dirt of this world, hoping to find the next thing that would supposedly free us and give us life. Instead, keep us focused on you for you are life, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen.